What we're going to show you is a tip from uh, our tip of the day series that students are working on now. We're doing some Suzuki two-stroke engine rebuilds, right? And they're getting ready to do their crank uh, seal removal. And what they noticed is we had a couple of the same exact seals. And you can see where this one has that gold ring, if you will, out. And this one doesn't. And the students are going, well, wait a second here. We think somebody put one in backwards. But the question is, which one's backwards? And this is part of curriculum where I tell people, hey, we talk a lot about every mechanic should know this. And if you're gonna install seals, you guys, those videos we watch and all that factory uh, Suzuki training that we were able to offer there uh, through those uh, mechanic to mechanic series, typically when you put a seal in, you're gonna put it with this larger side facing you because that's what you're gonna drive to drive that seal in place, typically. The other thing you'd notice here is that when you typically install a seal, this spring side usually faces the fluid. Remember we talked about that. So if you think about this for a second, this right side crank seal on the Suzuki, it actually has two jobs. It has the job of sealing the crank case so that when the air fuel charge goes in here, it's not gonna push itself out to here, losing the fuel mixture. And it also has the job of sealing this around the shaft so that the transmission fluid doesn't get sucked through and into the motor. So it's got a lot of work to do, right? Yep. Let's look at the manual. So there's nothing better than using your OEM resources. And this is what we talked about here, that you also, as a technician, you've got to be able to identify uh, an engineer diagram or a cutaway like this to see what parts of the seal. So that little spring that I was just flicking out of there, that's what that round circle is in the picture here. You can see the lip here is this lip right here. But the other thing you gotta be able to understand is look at what they're saying here. This is the left side of the engine. This is the right side of the engine. There's a note and a warning in the directions that say make sure and check the direction uh, before proceeding or whatnot. But you can see that the correct way to do this on all the Suzuki motors we have in here, we have 125s, 250s, and 85s apart. I don't have all the years memorized of what we're working with right now, but today, every single Suzuki had this seal facing this direction. So if we did that whole, every mechanic should know this, we would get into trouble. And that's why I can't recommend enough, especially new techs, is you, you gotta, you're, you're in such a better position to read service manuals and look at service manuals and get familiar with that product. And I'm gonna stretch that to that's anybody. If I've never worked on a model before, I'm gonna go look for notes, warnings, any indications instead of just assuming that I know it all. It's why we want to use those great resources. And that to me is what makes the difference between a professional and maybe a do-it-yourselfer is that we're going to go seek out the, the ultimate information in the service manual and find things like this. Now you guys maybe give some feedback here. I think you guys seem to be a little surprised by this. Yep. Yeah. Right? Don't you say that as a class, we got lucky someone put one in backwards? Yeah. yeah. You know, because it gave you the opportunity to go, well, wait a second here. These are identical. Oh, somebody messed up, right? Yep. How, do you think there's very much a time when it just simply doesn't matter? No. No. It's, nice. Yeah, it's directional. It's intentional. Like a lot of these things we're putting together, we want to follow the service manual. I always say this to you students is that, you know, Suzuki, Honda, you know, your manufacturers, Harley, they're way smarter than I am. So I'm not gonna try and reinvent the wheel and figure out how something necessarily should go or have to go. I'm gonna trust my uh, sources. You know, we talk about this a lot too. Once in a while there's misprints or whatnot. This is not a misprint. Okay, we found some five manuals. That's the way it go. There was a lot of intention in that. These guys are practicing today, like I said, um, how to use a couple different uh, seal polar tools. This one by Lyle, I love. This thing's pretty cool where you can put your 3H drive ratchet in it and get all kinds of funky angles. The guys are also learning here. Take a look at this one here. How to protect, how to, this, how to protect that engine so that when you pull this out, you're not gonna harm it. So whatever you're doing, I say that you do it with some craftsmanship and that you uh, really work and look into how things work so that you can do the best job possible. What do you guys think? Yep. 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 Agree? All right, we're gonna get at it. We're gonna keep wrenching, so make it a great day. And uh, uh, once again, I put the link in this. Uh, if you wanna check out the program itself, there's a program video link, but uh, check it out and get a hold of us if you have any questions. All right.